It's your boy KIP John Doe kicking it with Chop Talk TV. Big business shit, you know what I'm saying? We ain't keeping score because we already up. Chop Talk TV, this ain't that. Y'all know this big business. Y'all know we don't keep no store. Got my dog and her KIP John Doe in the building. What's yeah, up, gang? Yeah, right on, man. Thank y'all for having me. Man, I appreciate you for letting us come through, man. How your 2021 been so far? Man, lovely. Lovely. You know, nigga like been working. That. Six videos in, six for six. Yeah. You know, like you say, we ain't keeping score. We up. Yeah, that's what's good, yeah. man. How was your uh, 2020, man? I know everybody had a crazy 2020 well some people didn't but right. for the most part it was so crazy i know you had some wild antic that happened in 2020 man. uh ain't nothing too too wild happened we was just you know what i'm saying getting everything in order because we knew 2021 was gonna be our year so right. we was just getting the getting the foundation right right just getting everything set oh, for, for the new year and shit. yeah yeah that's what's up man where you from john though and hey, we from here we from the dub man i was born on, on blind grand down here okay you know really? what I'm saying? we right here we right here in 2021 my old dude shop jb's yeah, yeah i know where we at yeah real steppers you did you know yeah, yeah, ain't no doubt ain't no doubt man how you been staying kobe free Hey, and that mask, you know what I'm saying? Staying out people's face, yeah, and, and yeah. you know, uh, washing the hands, washing yeah. the hands, staying clean. That's what's up, man. When you uh start fucking around with the music? When I was a young boy, for real. Okay. Just always been playing with it. I, was, I used to listen to, I, I like 50 Cent. I used to uh, oh, yeah. listen to his, little, his little shit, yeah. yeah. And I used, to, I used to steal my mama tapes and record over them. Oh, uh, yeah. And I, I put my, my joints on there, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. When you uh, start taking it serious, or should I say, put the, put your foot on on the gas with it? For real, for real. Like I say, we always been on it, but for real, for real, probably a couple years ago. Like, I'd say, I'd say probably like what? Like a good two, three years ago, we really start, you know what I'm saying, going hard as far as the visuals and right. getting that good studio quality shit out. Right, right, yeah. man, absolutely. What made you put your foot on the gas? Like, this what I'm finna do? If for real, I mean, you know, this all a nigga know, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Nigga can do this, nigga can do that, but as far as talent and what a motherfucker gonna always fall back on is the music. Absolutely. And I, and I just do it for me. I like to, I like to hear myself, right. jam my own shit. You like, it's, it's therapy. You, you, you enjoy yeah. making music. Right, right. That's, that's good, man. That's good, man. You got any local artists in the city that you done already uh, collab with? Definitely, definitely. Uh, SG Breezy, RP Breezy. Yeah, uh, BT Trap. Uh, we got shit with Bookie Glocks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, who else? Smooth life on the east side. Oh yeah, you been uh, you been. Oh, we we work with Prince High King. We got we got a lot of shit. I got a hell of shit with B Hood. B Hood. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, D six, D six. Uh, we got we I work I work with everybody in the city. Yeah, that's what's up. You get anybody uh mainstream Indian industry, industry wise you didn't work with? Nah, you know I mean? got nobody else in the Nah, anybody nah, uh in the industry you would want to work with that you might was inspired by growing up watching or something that you like man i want to get on the song with this nigga man like i say like i say 50 and and, and wiz was a big influence on, on on my growing up you know wiz khalifa yeah <laughs> yeah wiz. wiz tight yeah wiz dope well, my mama he hard as a mother so how you uh plan to come out first quarter well i mean we finna start getting into second quarter right. but what you got uh bubbling for you know what i'm saying second and third uh, quarter I'm trying to think if I want to keep hitting it with the singles or if I'm going to give them a project. We got a project ready, you got a project but I, ready. I don't know if I, like I say, I'm just trying to show them that working consistency, you know, get right. them numbers up, you know, get them more fans. Up. Then we're going to hit them with a good, solid project. We got something. We got something for them. All right. You, uh, you got a mixtape out already, EP out already? Oh, uh, yeah. We got some shit like on Spare Really and shit like that. Okay. Uh, it's called the Kip Tape, and the Kip stands for Keep It Pimping. Okay. And, uh, then other than that, you know, I'm on all all platforms everywhere. We just drop a single, right? right I say right. all the videos on YouTube. How you come up with that uh that KIP shit? How they how they come out? Man, Keep it was just on the humbug one day. Yeah, me and the, me and the little homie was just walking and we kept, you know, right. keep it pimping, keep it pimping, and we just ran with it. At first, it was win a circle, okay. and then we did the kip and we just ran with it. It's been like that ever since. Everybody fuck with it. All right, we got the merch, you know what I'm saying? Merch. All type of accessories and shit. 
Well, uh, how did John Doe part come about? You know, John Doe just stand for like anonymous. You don't right, know who right. it is. <laughs> I mean, for real, for real, that's what people used to like. My, my nickname growing up was John John. Okay. And then once I got older, you know, it had to be something different. Right. So really, the people really gave it to me. You know, oh, and it was okay, really like man. when that Rick Ross came out, they go, that's John Doe. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, they just ran with it. They That's what they called me, John Doe. John Doe. Yeah, yeah we don't, we don't make it nobody into somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's wrong, man. How you take your uh, newfound fame, or should I say, like, people knowing who you is in the city, recognizing your music, and, like, motherfuckers want to take a picture with you or something? Mm -hmm. Like how you absorb that in, in your everyday. I mean, that's life. cool. It, it's cool. It ain't it ain't really like that yet. But I definitely be going places. People be knowing me, knowing the music and shit. That should be tight. Yeah, you know, it just made me want to go harder and just right keep right. doing this shit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that mean they, that mean they fuck with. It. You got any other investments outside the music that you uh, plan to fuck with? Uh, right now we just focused on the music. You know, my people got different investments, you know, right. in business and shit. But right. as far as me, I'm just focusing on the music. That's what I know. That's, that's, that's the lane I'm that. in. Mean, yeah, I'm staying in my lane. Right, that's what's up, man. You know, your old dude Stu been here for years. Years, you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He been here for years. He said y'all was next door at first and yeah. then caught a fire and then caught a little moved. fire. Now we bigger and better on this side. Right, right. You bigger and better on this side. That's what's up. You been out of town yet, rotating? Uh, uh politic and shit. Not you know? not like not like recently. Let me see that uh not like recently but you know, but we, we done done some shit back but we ain't done nothing recently, you know. Little things stopping us from going, but we we gonna definitely get out of town. You ain't uh did you catch All Star Weekend? You ain't get a chance to get down there. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't get, get down, down there. there. I seen it, but nah. Damn, they was crazy. Man, yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I, I ain't ready for that. You say you ain't ready for that? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't down there. Yeah, they was going crazy in the A, straight up. Most definitely. When you in the studio, man, what you need? You know, a lot of niggas need some gas. Some yeah. niggas need some. Some drink, like I mean, what you def need to catch your vibe. Definitely just need the gas and uh, just the good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Just a that's good it. Vibe. Just good vibes and gas, that's it. All right, you're gonna right. make a hit. Right, you just say you're gonna make a hit. What's your normal studio like? Yo, your, your resume, like how, like, when you do you just listen to the beat and let uh -huh. the beat just get, let like tell you what to give it, or you be kind of like having something already. Written acapella and then you were added no, to I, it. No, I like I like I like hearing the beat and letting the beat uh I like letting the beat uh talk to it, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You freestyle do you freestyle or you write you no, write? I write, I write. You write. I write. Yeah, I like I like listen to the beat, let the beat marinate, marinate, and then I come with something hot. Them beats the beats be having words, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And then you know, this new age, a lot of dudes don't like writing. They like going in and punching uh, in. See, I'm like old school. I like writing because you got to be able to think about what you're really saying because sometimes they just be saying stuff. You know what I'm saying? But right, I'm, right. I'm, I'm thinking about real life situations that, that I either have seen or encountered myself. Right. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's coming on the beat. The beat telling, you know what I'm saying? The beat got pain in itself. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like you say, the beat got words too. Yeah. It, and it, uh, It'll tell you already what you need to get. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely, man. I, I, As I, if it's a good beat. You know what I'm saying? Right. What's some of the uh, producers you done work with uh, in the city? Uh, I got a, uh, like I said, B Hood. B Hood. D6. Yeah. I, got some, I got some shit by Robbie One. I was just going to say Robbie One. I've been hearing yeah. his name. Man, yeah. I got to go get him, bro. Yeah. I've been hearing yeah. Robbie One. Yes, is yeah. that nigga. Yeah, Straight everybody, up. everybody fuck with Robbie One. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, game runners. Yeah, you ever heard of game runners? They hard. Shout out game runners. Hey man, I've been straight hearing uh hearing dude named Bubbling. Yeah, Robbie One got something with everybody in the city. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He been me. working. Either him and him and B Hood. Yeah, B Hood. Hood. Yeah, that's Didn't, my bro. Yeah. We got, yeah, we got an interview with. Don't me, that's my too. nigga. I got. I do everything with B Hood for real. He yeah. record all my music. Shout that's, out to B Hood. Man, that's 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 uh. Yeah, oh, that's what's up. What about a uh, videographers? You can fuck with Vic Montori. <laughs> D Hood, and and, and 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 now we uh with Blunt Lung. His name Blunt Lung. Uh huh. Blunt Lung, my nigga, out of O'Fallon. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's what's up. Now I ask all the St. Louis's this question, man. You know, Yo Gotti officially got a day in St. Louis. February twenty third is Yo Gotti Day. Uh -huh. He got the key to the city. So I just try to get <laughs> all brothers insight on how they feel about 
yo having a day, you know what I'm saying, in St. Louis, brothers. Some right. high artists don't even have a day here, you know what I'm saying? But he got a key to the city, so I just want to get your insight on how you feel about that. You I mean, it, it, that? it's cool. It's just shedding light on somebody that's doing something in a in a positive way that other niggas should be doing. You know, some niggas going to hate others, some niggas going to respect it. Right. You know. Yeah, you right about that. Yeah. It, I feel like it should really just, like you say, it's showing what we need to step up. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's a not a role model, but a, something to look at. Like, right. nigga, you can you can be doing this. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even from our city. Right, exactly. You know, some niggas that look at it as, as like as like a disrespect or hate, but no, you yes, got shit. That showed his grind, his yeah. ingenuity. You, you know what I'm saying? That. How he put in the grind to get that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's real shit, most definitely. They, his, they, they singing his, his songs in the clubs word for word. Right, yeah. ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. We all grew up on God. On me. Straight up. Getting you the game. I was looking through your uh, your IG. You had something with uh, Authentic. You uh, you tapped in with them? Yeah, we them? tapped in with uh, oh, A.E. Yeah. Shout what's, out A.E. Yeah, what's going on with Authentic? It, 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 it ain't nothing too amazing. We just had a little uh, situation. You know what I'm saying? We was rapping it. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. they, they check me out. Oh, yeah. How that situation come about? How you end up linking with that? Uh, shit, just my people on the, on the back end just doing little different things and try to tap in and social media and shit. All right, all right. Damn, that's what's up, man. Yeah, well, shout man. out AE, though. Yeah, yeah, AE going, they, I ain't gonna lie, they going crazy they going, right now, They going bro. crazy. They, they got Fujiano, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. They, they bubbling right now. They definitely, know. they definitely show love. Yeah, they bubbling like a motherfucker. Yeah, man, they, def they definitely show love. What's something you want people to know about John Doe, man? Tell them something that they need to know about you. Man, man. I need y'all to know that I'm working, I'm coming, man, and y'all gonna have to, uh, y'all gonna have to put some respect on it. You hear me? I'm telling you, I'm, it, the work gonna talk speak for itself. So yeah. just fuck with me, man. I'm trying to work with everybody. I ain't, we ain't on no bullshit. Right. We right. trying to get straight to the money, straight to the business. Ain't no doubt. That's ain't it. no doubt. You got kids? Yeah. yeah. I got two kids. Oh yeah. Yep, How they take girl. daddy uh being on the T V and uh, you know the videos. They, they like that. Yeah, they they like that. They know all the words. Oh, they yeah. they be seeing it. They yeah. we hop in the car, they play your music. They don't wanna hear no future, no little baby, no They wanna hear they, daddy they, shit. That's me. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm oh, feeling me. that, bro. That's what's up. Now you know last year, man, we had lost a few artists, man. Right. Uh, SG, Breezy, Vaughn, Mo3, you know what I'm saying? Just some real heavy hitters. A man. lot of artists, yeah. Dealing with, you know, this beef and the way they do beef now, rolling it up in the wood, dead, right, out right. smoking. Like, how you take that shit, like, if it come your way, you know what I'm saying? How you be able to distinguish that shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's gonna come. You just gotta know how to deal with hate. Right. You know, that shit, you just gotta know how to deal with hate. So you just gotta know how to deal with hate and just keep it off the internet. Right, right, and keep it off the internet. Keep it, keep it in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right about that. And they got that bad with running straight to that Instagram. Yeah. As soon as something happened, like they like, yeah. uh, you know, uh, we call it clout chasing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? all it is. Yeah, just clout chasing, man. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Man, we, we appreciate you for having us, bro. We definitely yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. Cause man, I so hey. needed the cut, man. Oh, like man, I said, you say. tapped in. Duke gonna slice you. That's it. So like you know, say, definitely man. to hit us up beyond just the views. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up for the cut. We gonna oh, come yeah. through and slice the whole, the whole yeah, squad. Yeah, we tapped up. in, man. Most definitely, man. So we gonna keep up with uh what you got going on. Definitely when you got a video shoot, man, call us up. We will come through, shoot some uh, behind the scenes oh, footage. Damn, we damn near shooting like every week, so definitely. Oh. Oh, you building that catalog for Man, real? I'm telling you, we, we, we really working. I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna challenge another St. Louis artist to shoot more videos than me. Oh, now, yeah. mark, mark my word. I'm at number six. Okay. And nobody gonna do more than me this year. Oh yeah, y'all heard it. I'm at number six. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard what Doe said. That, yeah, yeah, that's number no six. That's artist. out. He you said he got saying? six already started. So y'all yeah. better turn it up straight up. KIP okay. John Doe everywhere. Y'all can look him up. Number number six. Damn right, that's what's up, man. Like I say, man, we appreciate you for having us, man. We gonna keep up. Y'all know what it is. Chop Talk TV, this ain't that. Now my nigga KIP John Doe, man. Big business. Yeah, big hit.